welcome to Gibby School. And uh, no, I, I see that you logged in. Uh, I just want to show you around uh, Gibby School and how it works. Um, it might be confusing, it might be uh, intimidating, all the information, uh, but I want you to feel comfortable um, when you log in. So uh, let me zoom in for a second uh, so we can uh, see clearly. So if we zoom in, as you can see on the left side, we have four sections. We have section one, uh, which contains four weeks uh, or, or you could say four subsections. Uh, we have another section here, uh, subsections, and also all of them are same. So, um, so this is this is where all the lessons are collected. Uh, as you can see at the beginning, you learn HTML, introduction to JavaScript, uh, apply JavaScript, and then we have something called Build Week, which we will touch on in a minute. Um, but before we get to that, let's explain uh, here on on your dashboard. So here, my progress, this is where you will see uh, assignments that you already finished. Uh, when you log in right now, you might not have something in here, which is fine. So um, as you go along and you finish uh, sections and you finish the lessons, you'll see that you you get graded by uh, by me mostly, uh, Duran Ali. So uh, if you see passed, then you're good to go. Uh, and also you'll have a comment here. Um, if you see not passed, make sure to uh, communicate with me and reply back. Um, I'll send, probably send you a message. Uh, if you see waiting for review, that means you haven't finished it yet. Um, you haven't started it yet, uh, probably. So, um, and then attendance, here's where you will see um, your uh, attendance. So we usually take attendance for students who attend in classes. So this might not apply to some students, but it applies to most students. Uh, you see feedback. This is a generic feedback in case you went above and beyond or you help a, a student or something like that. We'll leave a feedback there. And also files. You will see files here in case you in case we give you some files or something that we're sharing. Uh, on the left side, you see your basic information, your cohort. You see the starting date, the completion date. This might not apply to some students who are studying um, uh, by themselves. Uh, so uh, if it shows a certain uh, completion date, um, it means that is the that's our guess. So it might not be a concrete 100%. Uh, location, you see your email, contact information, birth date, things like that. So these things you might not see uh, right away. So you have to go here to the right side and uh, click Edit, Edit Profile. And this is where you can edit your information and update your image, um, enter your information and all that. And, and put, uh, if you want to update your password, you could update it here too. So that's where you will see all the information. You could also log in from here. Uh, if we go to, um, the sections, the, the first section, which is the HTML, as you can see, each section has a subsection and that subsection contains uh, a week. So this is a, a week. So as you can see, it's the day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. Uh, the first four days is lessons. So these are lessons that you will learn. And then the last day is called a sprint project. A sprint project is a, uh, a project that you will do. And it usually takes about four hours, uh, sometimes more than that, to complete. And it's a combination of everything that you have learned. So it will be a small kind of like a test, but it's a project. So everything we do is a project based. Uh, if you uh, start, let's say, let's go to introduction to CSS. When you go in here, you see this introduction writing uh, text. You see your, um, these are your objectives. So these are the things that you should, you should know by the end of uh, this lesson. Uh, you see here, there's a button for recorded lectures. This is important for students who are uh, learning by themselves. Recorded lectures are lectures that are already recorded and that you could watch them. And daily task is your daily homework, let's say, or assignment. So if we click any of them, as you can see, you will jump there. Or you could just scroll all the way down. So it might be tedious to scroll all the way down. So that's why we have these buttons. Um, and in here, you see that there is about, uh, sometimes you see three, sometimes you see one. Um, lectures, so these lectures, as you can see, there's one that's Somali. You could click it and it will take you to um, the recorded lecture. 
and uh, lectures usually go for like two hours so keep that in mind uh, if you want to watch a lecture fully uh, and you want to understand the concept um, I will advise you to uh, put together a time of two hours to write notes and everything so whatever language you feel comfortable the ones with no uh, tag of any language that means these are English so keep that in mind um, daily task okay so daily task is usually uh, a link to github so except the first lesson which is a link to codebin uh, where is a it's a soft it's a website where you can edit a code in their website most of the time it's in github so github i will advise you to right away when you um, join Gibby school to create an account at github so go to github.com create an account there uh, use your name your full name to create account this means every developer in the world has a github these days so if you are a developer 100% um, you should have github this is basically a code storage website it's like a Instagram for code let's say um, so you could store your code and you could you know keep track of your code it shows um, when you update it how you update it, who updated everything so and there's also something that you will learn in the, the second lesson I think um, which is called github right here so introduction to CSS git github so watch the lecture and I will explain exactly what github is so every assignment and every homework has you have to go to github for it so and then you have to go through the github uh, process uh, explained in the lecture to uh, to copy the code put it on your computer download something called um, uh, an editor I mean it could be an any editor but download an editor uh, VS code or v visual studio code is is the best one right now so that is the process for every assignment and every lesson so if we go back and click uh, advanced CSS you see there's a recorded lecture there's a daily task there's introduction uh, you might not have short videos so the first lessons you might have short videos but we will be adding soon more videos um, right here you have the option you have the assignment um, the assignment is right here so every lesson has an assignment so it's not um, you're not gonna be moving forward unless you finish those assignments once you finish the assignment so let's say you completed the assignment then uh, then you go here to forms and then you go to daily reflection daily reflection is a form where you submit this form uh, when you uh, finish assignment I explained in detail in our first lecture um, so watch that lecture uh, inshallah uh, there's also a sprint reflection there's a build week reflection general feedback so these are forms uh, these are important links this is a student guide so if you ha ever have any question about anything uh, in the school this is where you find your information this is a documentation explaining almost everything about the school so if you have any question about the build week right here if you have any question about um, the scheduling you'll find it here curriculum all that stuff you'll find it here so uh, financial um, uh, things like that related to that you'll find it here so this is a good resource for for you to kind of like get familiar with uh, so and the last thing is the build week uh, so all the weeks are same so the the setup is the same uh, the build week is setup is a little bit different so build week is a, a whole week where you will work with other students and if you're working by yourself you will be working this on yourself if we can find a student for you that you can work with then we will try to do that so the build week is basically a whole week where you will use all the knowledge that you learned uh, this section to build a application or a website or web page or uh, it depends on what week you're at so the first week uh, the first I'll say the first section you will be building a you will be using HTML CSS and JavaScript you'll be building a application or a website using those so build weeks are really really important uh, for for your uh, progress um, so that's that's how it's divided you just keep going that way and every week has a spring project every three weeks uh, when you finish you have a build week and then by the end of it you have a, a section four where you have a lab 
a lab is a whole month of a project so this is a conclusion to your to your uh, uh, basically uh, education at Gibby school uh, you will finish uh, the lab and the lab is a project that you work with other teams and you will build a complete front end back end uh, full stack application some students might might build a mobile application so it depends on on what you choose so once you finish this we will conclude with Python so you you will spend a week uh, learning Python and uh, kind of like uh, getting um, the hang of it and it will be it will be very useful for you and I promise you once you finish all these sections and you go through everything learning uh, Python in a week will become really easy for you so I promise that uh, if you put in the time it will be uh, it will be breeze um, that is generally the setup um, if you have any question let me know uh, make sure to uh, keep going and keep grinding it's not easy it's definitely not easy but it, once you finish all the sections it's rewarding and you will see yourself go from not knowing HTML to becoming a full full stack developer and uh, building applications and eventually inshallah we hope you find a job or whatever you're looking for so that's the introduction thank you for coming uh, and enjoy your learning Goodbye.